Let's go. Oh, the original cut. There it absolutely is. I might like it better than the 2020 version. What's up, Shoe Fanatics? Uh, thank God September is over with. That was um, an expensive month for your boy. But, you know, I, I, I did everything I set out to do. Uh, I think the only thing I didn't get in September was the... What's the uh, joints? The silver? The silver ones? The Tokyo ones? Uh, I did go after those, but no dice, man. So, thankfully, man, September's over with. You know what I mean? That was a, a, it was, it was a good month, but, you know, expensive. Uh, that being said... Thankfully, uh, I'm in October now, obviously, so I plan to sleep on a few things in October. But let's get right into it. This is the copper drop for uh, 2020 October. And uh, tell me, you know, down below uh, what you're copping, what you're going to try to pick up, what you're going to go after. Uh, I'll give you my opinions on my stuff as we go. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. Again, as I always say, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, do that good stuff. Uh, and you'll see what I pick up. Um, since I do plan to sleep on a lot of these releases this uh, month, um, may go get grail hunting. So let's keep that in mind. And addition, additionally to that, my plans are to cop these things, but you know, <laughs> chances are I don't get some of these other things, man. So you know, I might come away dry. I might have I might have an O for a month. You know what I mean? So uh, let's get right into it. Um, on the second of October, it's a pretty cool pack, I think. I think I checked the price that was $425. This was a Air Jordan 16 Converse uh, double pack. Um, I've been thinking of expanding my Jordan collection because I only have from one to 14. Um, and Jordan obviously did play. I think he played in the 15 and 16, no. I don't know, he played in one of those joints because you know he played for the Wizards. So um, I'm a, I was gonna try to expand that and I saw this pack but A, I couldn't justify the price, and B, um, I, it's just not a nice enough shoe for me to to really go after. Um, if it were maybe Wizards colors, uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but you know, for me, I can I can probably sleep on it. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep on it, especially for that price. I just I just can't justify that price. I can't pay four hundred some dollars for any kind of Converse. There's no shade of Converse or you Converse lovers out there. I can't do it. So we're, we're passing on that guy. Um, on the ninth, I think there's a, uh, a retro five that's like red and pink. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's that red and pink Jordan five. And I think that's a girls colorway, uh, you know, grade school girls colorway, and uh, it's okay looking. Obviously, it's not geared towards me, so it's gonna be a you know a hard pass for me. But uh, be aware, it's on the ninth. If that thing comes out, you know, make a great attempt at it. All right, so. Here's where I expect things to change. Now we are, again, right on the cusp of um, October. And so far, Nike has not made any updates. I don't expect this to stick, but you know, here we go. On October 10th, uh, you're having the Royal Blue Jordan 3s, which is real quick. I mean, you'll see a picture, but uh, I, sent, I sent, oh damn. They're just a uh, inverse of this, not an inverse. They're just the blue version of this. Obviously, that picture is going to be posted up here. This is so this is so embarrassing. Why would this come off right here? Come on, container store. Come on, container store. Oh, look at that craftsmanship. Anyway, uh, there's that blue royal blue Jordan Three, which released overseas like months ago, and people had a chance to get those in hand. Uh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't need those. Well, the red was good enough for me. So there's that. And coincidentally, also on the tenth is the Jordan Four PSG. Now, um, if you guys watch my Jordan 6 PSG video, I was kind of like, nah, 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 I don't care, all right? I thought the Jordan 6 PSG was much better. I thought the Jordan 5 PSG was much better until I got a more exclusive and in-depth look at how the Jordan 4 PSG looks. I'm going after it. I think that comes out on, again, the 10th, retailing for a price of 225 or 250. It may be 250. Um, because I'm sleeping on so much, I'm gonna to try to go after it anyway. That I, I have little hope I'm gonna be able to get that shoe. But between those two, the Jordan 3 and the Jordan 4 um PSG, I'm definitely gonna go after the Jordan 4 PSG. I like the PSG collabs they've done so far. Um the materials on that shoe look really good. 
I heard the, le the leather quality is you know, top notch and it's a Jordan 4. I have very little Jordan 4s. I got a bolster of my collection. So I'm definitely gonna try to add that guy. Uh, tell me your thoughts about that one. If you're gonna go after it, that'd be you know, pretty cool. Um, now the 14th, all right, moving on. On the 14th, there's an Air Jordan 1 Lucky Green. Now my Pine Greens are way up there. I'm not gonna go pull those down. But this is, um, they call it, like, I guess, a Heineken colorway, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't need this shoe. I already have the Pine Greens. I don't have a ton of green in my wardrobe and you know my collection at all. So adding another green shoe would not be beneficial. I like the pine green better. And you know, maybe for me, it's just best to let the ladies eat on this one. That shoe is geared towards them. Um, not, like, not that I haven't gone after women's shoes before. They also those uh, UNC uh, joints, but you know, this is for the ladies, man. So I'm gonna let the ladies eat on this one and it doesn't suit me. It's an Air Jordan 1. It's gonna sell out, it's gonna be popular, but for Jay Shoe Fanatic, I don't have to have it. So again, let me know if you guys think that one's worthy of, of your collection. I'm, I'm gonna be hard pass on that one, I'm sleeping on that one, right? So right after that, another one that we're gonna try to go after that she'll be unsuccessful at, I'm gonna tell you now, all right? Gotta be a realist. Uh, on October 16th, it's the return of the Air Jordan 4 Union Collab. Now this one is just gonna be the black noir color. I think the guava ice color was specific to that initial union drop uh, early September. And now what we have is Nike sneakers uh, version, which is just a noir colorway of the um, Jordan 4 Union. Uh, I believe that's gonna be a draw, right? So maybe a roll of the dice to get you, you know, some clankety clank to get you <laughs> some good luck if you uh, got that kind of luck, but um, Hey, I'm gonna go after it. You know what I mean? That's five hundred dollars if I hit on the tenth and the sixteenth. Five hundred bucks. I'm gonna, you know, come out of, but it's not looking likely. All right. So I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to laugh to keep from crying, man, because I want these joints. But you know, I have success on uh, GR shoes, but never success on the hype shoes. You know what I mean? I don't. I'm not gonna blame bots or whatever. It just is what it is. It is what it is. So, you know what I mean? That's the Jordan 4 Union joint. Um, good luck. Good luck. Second time around. All right, after that, it's the Jordan 17 35. Now, I believe this is the first 35 to drop. Now, again, as I mentioned, I haven't copied anything after Jordan 14. We're more than double that up until this current generation of the 35. Um, I actually like the Jordan 33. I actually like the Jordan 34. And it seemed like the Jordan, the Jordan 34 just dropped. But, um, I mean, it dropped at the beginning of the basketball season last year. So I think Zion debuted a couple of pairs. Um, so here we are. 35 is right around, or was right around the corners. That's upon us. And um, it's a radical design uh, from what I saw. You know what I mean? It's got, I mean, you, you see the pictures. It's a radical design. Uh, it's probably amazing to hoop in. But for the 15th and umpteenth time, my professional, not professional, my, my organized basketball playing days are slim and few far in between. So I'm definitely not gonna hoop in it. And I'm definitely not gonna try to use it as a lifestyle slash casual shoe, just not for me. So I'm passing on the Jordan 35 um, that's coming out then, you know, so good luck to those. I, I think the price is 190 on those. So, you know, it's no, no different from a retro. So, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, on the 23rd is the uh, Black Concord or, or Jordan 12. Uh, I told you I'm not the biggest fan of Jordan 12s anyway. I unfortunately only have one pair somewhere floating. I think it's at the top. Those, um, those Royal Blue uh, 14, not uh, 12s. And this is the Dark Concord. And that does, it, does, it doesn't move me. You know what I mean? I'm not kind of I'm not quite sure what the material is. It looks like it's some kind of suede on the upper and maybe leather on the bottom. <laughs> Whatever this guy shows. And then that's the Concord. Um Concord's down there. Anyway, they always throw just a that little bit of Concord purple on the shoe and they end up calling the whole shoe the Concord. All right. It doesn't dominate the shoe by any stretch of the imagination. But they ended up calling the shoe the Concord just because that little hit that's on the uh the little side piece there. I'm sure it's Concord hints throughout the rest of the shoe, but suffice it to say, it's not for me. Um, I slept on those University Gold 12s that came out in August, 
I believe they did. And I'm going to sleep on these. Uh, only 12s I'm going to go after are the flu games and probably like the taxis. Uh, just, not a, just not a fan of 12s. Uh, they are very comfortable. So don't, don't let me lead you wrong there. They are a, a comfortable shoe, but lifestyle, this is not for me. I, I'll pass on those. So have at it. Enjoy. Uh, and then I believe on the 31st, this is where it gets, this is where it gets crazy. The Jordan 1 Mocha, all right? So this is the same shoe that everybody wants to keep calling the poor man's Travis Scott, all right? Right in time for, for uh, Halloween. This is the same shoe everyone wants to call the, the poor man's Travis Scott. If you think it's a poor man's Travis Scott, I dare your ass to not go after it, all right? I challenge you. Don't go after it. If it's a poor man, you you don't want to be poor, right? Leave it to us poor folks. No, no. If you're poor, go after it. If you if you ball and you rich rich, go cop the Travis ones and leave this to us poor folks. All right, do that. Do us that favor. But that all that all that to say, yes, man, it's a must cop. I'm gonna try to get it. I'm gonna hope I get it. If I don't, you know, I'm not gonna cry over it. But I want it. I want it. It's Travis Scotts, Travis Knotts. Y'all keep that energy. You don't, if you if you if you make this any kind of derogatory or demeaning term about that shoe, bro, keep that energy. All right? I don't want to hear it because I'm going to try to go after it. I might double up. So, you know, stick that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to go after that shoe. Uh, I want it, you know, it's a, it's a dope shoe. I think the materials look good on it. I wanted that shoe ever since uh, I saw it when I think Z Sneaker had put it up first. Um, it's fire shoe, man. Fire shoe. Fire, 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 fire. And, you know, gonna go after it. So, I hope you guys, uh, get what you're looking for. You don't have to worry about me clogging the lane. You know what I mean? You can get a uh, straight layup in there. And, uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around. So, do me a favor if you would, again, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, do all that good, that good jazz. Um, let's go ahead and, um, follow me on Instagram. J underscore shoe fanatic. You know what I mean? So I appreciate you guys again. Uh, take it easy. Stay safe out there. And uh, I'll check back in with you later. All right. Peace out.